Ruhm. Just wanted to say, it's been a while. And I've really missed you all so much. It's been a long two months. <laughs> and you can maybe tell that I've actually gotten a lot more tan. My uh, uh, my neck is awful. Um, I'll try to post a picture of that later. But I've I've been spending most of my days out in the weather in the heat. But uh, that's okay. I uh, I like it, but it's still sometimes really taxing on me. Uh, actually. Yesterday, uh, for those who don't know, I, uh, I do lawn care. I am a manager of a company um, and we service customers uh, with cutting grass uh, with big commercial lawnmowers and uh, we redo garden beds. And from, as some can tell in the pictures I just posted a few hours ago, and uh, we will tear out garden beds redo the entire thing from dirt up to plant installation and everything else. So, uh, but yesterday I, um, I hit a brick wall really hard. I was, uh, at a company meeting, went out with the, uh, the owner of the company and we went out together and, uh, ate some food with some others. And then after that, um, I went out, actually it was a, it was brisket. And I went out to a job site afterwards and uh, was like, oh, I got this. Can nail it out pretty fast. No, it was, uh, I was dragging pretty hard. I think it might have been the combination of eating what I ate and then also it was, it was hot and really humid. And I just felt like garbage. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. And so, yeah, I was uh, pretty worn out from that. So, anyways, I, that's basically what I've been doing for the past two months is uh, springtime startup and lawn care is long, 10, 12. I put a 13 hour day in the other day, uh, just trying to get everything done that I can. Uh, rent the, the bobcat picture you guys saw. That was 13 hours that day. So, uh, just a a lot to going on and then also employees not showing up to work and are calling off on a day that they are scheduled so it's uh, but yeah other than that uh, been good um, I don't think really anything new to report other than getting gorgeously tan <laughs> I don't know I my wife always uh, wants me to put sunscreen on, but for 20 years I have been doing this, and so um, tan and white and tan and white, I get I get super tan uh, by the end of the summer, really, really dark, and then uh, back to being pale, pale white in the spring. <laughs> so, anyways, I just wanted to say I'm happy to be back with you all, and I hope to be making more videos. Uh, consistently again the spring has finally calmed down it's june so we should be in the clear for a bit so anyways i wanted to uh do an unboxing they bought me a new one and so this is the uh Yule can AH75. This has four extension links or four parts for the extension link. And not everything else in here, so I'm excited. Uh, about opening this up and uh, getting into it. So, let's go. The uh, 
thumbnail photo. By the way, I wanted to say uh, thank you all so much for the uh, comments uh, in the Q&A, one that I put out uh, a few months ago. Um, I am going to be answering all your questions. I was thinking about doing it this time for this video, but I just I just wanted to get back into it. Um, leave a comment below on what you're wanting the uh, video that I answer the questions, what you guys want me to be doing, um, if it's lint roller, um, fiddling with something, tapping on something gently, um, if you want me to uh, fold, whatever it is, you guys let me know, and I would love to accommodate if I can, um, so let's just, uh, just keep that in mind, so whatever you just please leave a comment in the sections below. Just let me know what you guys want me to do for that video. Okay. Sorry if you guys hear my stomach. It has been gurgling for like the past hour. So it says on the box. Stable. Extendable. And lightweight. seen inside the box just yet. We have the black matted color on the box, which actually I find that I really like for cars and vehicles. I find it to be very, uh, uh, agent, uh, the, the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization on the Avengers, the Marvel series. Nothing else in there. So let's close the box. sure I was recording still I forgot to hit record on another video of mine and it uh, I was doing something for about 20 minutes without recording and so now I'm always paranoid that I haven't hit record so anyways we have a shoulder strap here with an adjustable piece to make it tighter and or looser depending on your preference. Yeah, 
let's see if the bag itself has any markings, which it does not seem like it does. I actually like the aspect that this is all in a case right now, because the one that the phone that I'm using is on it had no case, and so could get damaged or potentially messed up this way. So this is a step up. Leave in the comments below if you like the unboxing videos. I would actually enjoy doing this more if you, if everybody wants me to do something like this and say, hey, could you um, unbox this, that, the other, or whatever it is that you, you want to see me unbox, I can totally do that for you. Um, also, if you have a question um, that you weren't able to, that you thought maybe it was too late to ask, um, comment on the, the Q&A video that I left a few months ago, or just ask it in this one, and I'll answer it hopefully in the next video. Head off to the side. Okay. We have all the uh, different pieces. This is for the phone attachment, I'm guessing. We'll get to that, I guess, in a minute. Okay. So let's place all these out and we'll continue. Come closer, my darling, <laughs> and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so we have the main tripod, which we will open in just a second. Let's see what we have in the bubble wrap. This is where I'll be placing this, but we will do that in a second. Or a couple minutes or so. Place that off to the side. The control arm and left. So up, or straight down, and up, right, and left.
here. Let me see these on top. And then off to the side. There we go. Alright, and then I've always enjoyed these little Ziploc baggies. They've always been fun for me. Certain things. One, two, Three legs that swivel back and forth. Again, I want to apologize if anybody can hear my stomach. It is going crazy at the moment. Like I said, one, two, three swivel legs or swivel feet. Let's have a another drink. All right. Now the uh, main attraction. We're gonna gently. Place it to the side. Even smaller Ziploc little bag here. I was going to say I've always liked these. Uh, always these and things like this. It always captivated me because I I always felt like a like a techie or something like that off of one of those spy movies. I think they always pick out things from there. Those that black baggies like this, they had to handle it with care. So, one reason why I, I always like these guys. Yeah, they're just cute, small. <laughs> Also, something I always liked was uh, when we got a new computer, it was always fun to uh, Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows XP, Windows 7, all those. Just, they were so much fun when you first open it up, push the power button, and they turn. The, the, the window sounds over the years was so much fun to, to hear, especially when they released a new one. Uh, classics of just going back and listening to Windows 95 and Windows 98 brings back a lot of 
fun memories, to say the least. All right, so we have the AH-75 tripod manual, Julkin type, or the brand name for that. We have the English version, uh, I'm guessing Spanish, Dutch, Italian, and French. So, pretty many versions, pretty, a lot of versions in this old booklet. That's neat. It tells you all the different names of all the different things on here. And what they all do and how to work it. Which is fun. So, normally I will go through a manual and look at all the different things. But this one seems pretty straightforward. But if I need to, I will come back to the owner's manual. Let's go ahead and oops, place that to the side. Go ahead and let's place the feet on here real quick. Now if you are, place the handling, which is a cool feature that it will swivel in and out. So it tucks out of the way whenever you're not using it. And for those who are interested, right above the handle there is a level. So if you want to be perfectly level on the ground, you can see the uh, bubble in there. It tells you where you are. But the nice part is about this tripod and others that I've used, it has the anchor hook on the bottom. So you would tie something, twine or other, some other type of material in here down to a stake or something else on the ground. So you, if you placed it on a, uh, a hill, it wouldn't tip over. And so, uh, really neat aspect for that. And in saying that you would adjust the legs accordingly. It's tight, which is good. And then it extends out. That is absolutely beautiful with how long that extends. The uh, tripod that you are uh, placed upon at the moment is only a uh, three, so one, two, three units and extend out this one's four which I like it so much more because every time what basically the the first video I did um, one of the first videos I did with um, revealing my my face was um, the makeup one and I had to squat down a little bit to actually reveal my entire face so this is very nice. <laughs> I 
I don't know if you see, but for me, I really enjoy new things. But the problem is I don't want to use the new things because they are new. And I don't want to get them damaged or broken or something along those lines. So this knob here will help or prevent you from taking this knob and extending out the tripod itself, like extending it up even higher without extending the legs or having it even higher to where the legs are fully extended. You have that to extend it even higher, which is a cool feature. The only thing is right now, maybe because it's brand new, it's, it's really stiff. Like, it, and then when you're turning it, I guess then there's a pop. So, I'm not sure if that's something with the gear is just being, like I said, brand new, but that's my only concern with this. Turn it over to see. So it has the, uh, the ridges here, the gear point, because there's a gear in here when you turn this. Kind of looks like that on the inside. But I still am very thankful the new tripod. I think it will serve us well. And I would love to be making more and more videos for you all. Okay. Now that we have all those. Put on the, don't know what you'd call it, the, where you attach the phone or camera or uh, something along those lines. Very gently twist it on. One thing my dad always taught me when it comes to mostly everything, there's some things you really want to crank down. But for certain things like this, you don't want to over tighten because if you do, it'll damage components. So just get a little bit of a squeeze. There we go. So there's different pieces on here, like this one with screws, which probably makes this be able to tilt easier. So tighten it back up. Oh, maybe that's for the swivel. Haha. -ha. Twins for the, sw the uh, swivel back and forth. That one's this one. Okay. And now this guy is for if you want to tilt the camera up like a 90 degree angle. Unfortunately for the phone, it wouldn't do very well for me, <laughs> but it's still a cool feature. Okay, we're going to tighten it back down. This lever here will release the phone or the camera. Have it open wide enough. So, push that in, slide it on down, and push it back. And now this is sturdy, heavy in there. All right. Now the last, last thing. I don't know if I'm going to use this setup here. The one that you guys are on on my camera 
it's actually a lot better than, at least I like it better so far than this guy. But, uh, alas, the last item here. Slide it in. Slowly turn it. Can I just... Oh. A little bit more. It's tricking me. So here's kind of my other issue with this. I'm turning it. I feel like getting tight and it pops. So I can only go so far. It'll jump. I, uh, the thread and make it where it pops back down. So right there, it's tight enough. But I'm gonna leave it. So I'm turning this. This gives you more ability to turn it up and down, left to right. Ooh, I actually do like that version because that camera stand, you have to do two mechanisms to be able to go this way and also this way. So I like this feature better for that. Well, here is our new handy dandy Tolkien tripod, which I really, really like. Very pleasant. I like that it has the matted black and these parts to it. It's very sleek. So, anyways, I wanted to say thank you all for the love and support and patience over the past two months. Again, comment down below what you want me to do with my, for the Q&A, for the, the A part. Um, I'm actually gathering up all of your questions i'm going to be answering them but if you could um just tell me what you want me to do during that video i have a lot of videos that i would like to do but um, i i love always love suggestions and um comments on what you want to see next so love you all and i will see you in my next video Hello and welcome to ASMR, gentlemen. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm looking forward to bringing more videos to you weekly, and I will see you in the next one.